Hey guys! Good morning! Welcome back to our channel, The Eaton Squad. My name is Eddie. So for today's video is about this monkeypox virus. I'm not even sure if it's a virus or something, but this has been on the news and this could affect travel restrictions. I am not saying it's going to affect. I'm saying it could or it may. So we'll talk about that and also the sub- variant of omicron that's already present in the philippines we actually have a local transmission on that we will address all of that on this video details coming right up so you guys have probably heard the news because this has been on the news almost like every day about this monkeypox that's been spreading in Europe, Portugal, and now even in the U.S. So let's talk about it. How is it going to affect travelers to the Philippines? Because Secretary Duque has said that the Bureau of Quarantine is going to intensify their screening to all travelers to the Philippines, especially to those who came from the country or countries that already have monkeypox. I am going to show you guys what Secretary Duque has said. I'm not going to read all his statement. We're just going to get what's really important that he is saying about this issue. And aside from it, aside from this monkeypox, there is also a local transmission of the sub-variant of Omicron in the Philippines. How is this going to affect travelers to the Philippines also? Are they going to implement travel restrictions again because of this? So let's get started with it. We got quite a bit to discuss. Let's start with monkeypox. So according to Secretary Duque, that with cases of monkeypox slowly spreading worldwide, the Bureau of Quarantine or BOQ will conduct that are reporting cases according to Secretary Duque. In the phone interview, Duque said he had directed the Bureau of Quarantine to step up its screening at the airports to forestall the possible entry of the illness in the Philippines. They have to do temperature check and other screening procedures for other symptoms of monkeypox, such as headache, malice or joint and body pains, and swollen lymph nodes among the travelers coming from countries with monkeypox cases, he added. In the statement, the Department of Health said that monkeypox has not been detected within the Philippines or its borders. That is actually good news because at least it's not present in the country. Hopefully it won't. Minimum public health standards will prevent monkeypox transmission. Wear your best fitted mask. Ensure good airflow. Keep hands clean. Keep physical distance. This also protect us against COVID-19, the agency added. And to everyone, to give us an overview about monkeypox. Monkeypox is a viral zoonotic disease that is transmitted to humans through close contact like wounds, body fluids, respiratory droplets with an infected person or animal or with contaminated materials. And while monkeypox may look like smallpox, it is less contagious and causes less severe illness. Duque underscored that monkeypox symptoms are self-limiting or they would subside at a certain point even without taking medication. Concerned travelers would have to undergo quarantine for one week to two weeks, the period during which the symptoms manifest after exposure to the virus. So I know you guys have heard about uh, quarantine. Don't worry. They're not really implementing quarantine. This is just in case it gets out of hand that monkeypox will get into the Philippines and if you are one of those who are very concerned about it you will have to go through quarantine one to two weeks that's how I understood it but like Secretary Duque has said that monkeypox is not detected in the Philippines yet or even at the Philippine border so that is actually good and the Department of Health along with the Bureau of Quarantine is going to be strictly screening 
incoming travelers coming from these countries that already have detected monkeypox. So that's in Europe, Portugal, and now they have in the United States. And like the Department of Health has said, COVID-19 is more contagious, more dangerous compared to monkeypox. So we don't know how this virus is going to affect our daily lives again, just like what COVID-19 did. So we were hoping that we already passed COVID-19 and here we go. We have a new virus. And aside from that, on the other news that I was giving you guys earlier is the sub-variant of Omicron that is already present in the Philippines. We actually have a local transmission on this sub-variant. But according to Dr. Solante, it's too early to implement travel restrictions. Too early for border restrictions. When asked about the possibility of imposing border restrictions due to Omicron sub-variant, the infectious disease expert said it is still too early for the Philippines to implement border restrictions. It can be recalled that the Philippines has already detected the presence of Omicron sub-variant BA.2.12, BA.2.12.1, and BA.4. These variants are said to be more transmissible than the original Omicron variant. So far, it's too early to recommend a border restriction. Even countries with BA4 and 5 are already increasing. They don't implement border restrictions, said Solante. He said the government must instead monitor the situation and test all the vulnerable individuals with symptoms. What's important here is to really monitor and I think we still need to encourage the testing of those who are the vulnerable population so that we can intervene because of treatment, the infectious disease expert said. So I guess the health department or the experts who are studying COVID-19 from the IATF and stuff, I think they have learned that if there is a new sub-variant or if there is a new virus present in the Philippines, lockdown is not the solution just like what he said there is no recommendation yet i know keyword there is yet but i don't really see the philippines closing its borders again because of this why i said that it's because 85 percent of the population are already vaccinated some have already undergone on their booster shots unlike before during the surge of covid 19 in the philippines we are at 10 15 percent fully vaccinated on the population so it's kind of hard to have that safety net to fight against COVID-19 but this time is different because like I said 85% or more than 85% of the population is already fully vaccinated. Some have the booster shots already for added protection. So I don't foresee Philippines going to be on lockdown again because of this. The reason I put this up because this could affect travel protocols to the Philippines with this of viruses, which is the monkeypox and the Omicron sub-variant that is already here in the Philippines, that we already have a local transmission on that. But hopefully, like I said, the Department of Health or our healthcare system has already learned their lesson for the last two years on what they're going to do. I think they are more, should I say, smarter now on what to implement when it comes to viruses like this so this is the latest update from the philippines i just wanted to keep you guys on the loop and there is really nothing to worry about because like i said i have received quite a bit of messages again that hey miss addy there's this virus going on again are we going on lockdown and stuff like i have always said if it's not officially announced from the philippine government website or pages and stuff you don't need to worry about it and 
I will keep you guys posted on what's going on in the Philippines when it comes to travel updates, travel protocols, travel restrictions, border restrictions, and stuff like that. I will keep you guys posted. That way you will know what's the latest travel updates to the Philippines. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, concerns, or inquiries with regards to this video or in any of our travel-related videos, please comment it down below and I will try to get back to you guys as soon as I can. Or you can direct message me in our Facebook page, same handle, The Eaton Squad. I hope to see you guys on our next travel update. Stay safe, stay healthy, and God bless everyone. Bye.